Why hello there my fellow brothers, sisters, gamers, and anime lovers, Buster here again with our reaction video, and yes, this is another 40k reaction video because I am excited for these stuffs coming out and so impressive that other animators can make more different types of content for <laughs> just laughs and gets us in the mood. These uh, videos are two of my fav most favorite franchise during the time, Star Wars and 40k, and putting them together and just trying to uh, coexist in the universe with, another, with, the, with the Emperor and another Emperor. I wonder what the real Emperor of Mankind feels about Emperor Palpatine. Do it! Do it! So this is World Eater versus Night Lord, which is... Interesting, all right. Who's gonna win? I'm voting for the World Eater because Night Lords are not are just violent sociopath, uh, psychopaths, uh, murderers, and things that we cannot mention on YouTube. And World Eaters are more of gladiators, so they're they're more experienced in combat. Believe me, Night Lords is just a hit and run legion tactic, and that's all they're good at. Uh, Ter uh, he fear and terror tactics. That's all they they can do. I know a certain lead, uh, not a legion, but a certain Astartes chapter, or you can even call them a chapter, but legion is in their name. They both inspire fear and are devastating enemies that have more skill than an average dark lord. Whoever who they are, I'm gonna get a video. I'm gonna get a picture for this. So you can see, the Legion of the Dam and their designs are fire, literally on fire, like warp fire and skeletons. It's like Ghost Rider became a uh, space marine. So, and they're unkillable. They're just like Necrons. They can shrug off most lethal damage that could kill any space marine or even a Primaris easily. And they just cut... And the weirdness of them is they come at the most direst or most desperate of times. So I wish that they appeared in the Devastation of Baal because, yeah, they could have used some Legion of the Damned. And no one knows their origins. It's still unclear who they are. They may be a Firehawks chapter or maybe they're the fallen brothers of the Istvan, Istvan 4 massacre, drop site massacre. And their leader should be Ferris Manus. That would be amazing. That would be a better story than some dumbass chapter got lost in the warp and got so corrupted and corroded. But their loyalty still belongs to the Emperor. Their bodies are literally just repairing itself or basically trying to keep itself together using the warp. And basically are just walking like dead like necrons which is yeah i would prefer that they are the vengeful spirits of those who have fallen during the horus heresy the loyalists that would be a great legion to add all right this is world leader versus night lord let's see who wins i'm voting for the world leader better w to my world eater fo uh subscriber out there hope you enjoy that that i'm siding on you for once even though I'm a loyalist and you're a traitor. Alright. It's gonna happen. Of course he's still I'll gonna be- I'll tear your head off for that! Well, World Eater wants to tear my head off. How very imaginative. How Surprising. long did it take you to think that one up? Stop with the sarcasm! I hate sarcasm. You hate Sarcasm. everything! Do you even know what that word means? Don't treat me like I'm dumb. I'm not dumb. I'm, I'm just angry. angry. Yes! And an idiot. No. Yeah. I'll bash your skull in and fist upon your flesh. Guys, what is going on in here? They're trying to kill each other. Three decks down. This piece of cognitive divine keeps killing my playthings before I've had my fun. Pl it's what? his fault for overcomplicating things, but sneaking around like a weakling coward. You end their suffering too quickly. There isn't any time to revel in their torment, to watch them slowly go mad what a from sadist. their misery. 
The way you do things is just so boring. It takes the sport right out of it. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Night Lord. Everyone else does things efficiently, unlike you. They go in for the kill, they end it quickly, minimize, minimize uh, wasted effort, and just move on to the next target. Unlike you, you take your juicy ass time. Believe me, the Night Lords would be best friends with the Drukari. And Drukari are aka Dark Eldar, known for being the most sadistic freaking race in the entire Warhammer 40k. They even beat Necrons because Necrons are more objective. Even Chaos! The Dark Eldar are basically Stellanishites in all essence because, yeah, trying to stave off she who thirsts. It takes too long to kill his prey. Blood should be spilled in great waves, not drip out like a leaky faucet. Enough! Ugh, you guys are like children. They very are. Large, very psychotic children. A anyway, I've got enough to deal with without you psycho marines trying to tear each other apart. Forget it. I'm not working with this unimaginative simpleton. You can work with the Emperor's the children. The words. Blood for the blood blood. Yeah, no. Where are you going? Oh, seriously, run away? The fights are for morons and loyalists. Did he really just run away? Ah, shit! F you! F you! You ran away and say, uh. Fair fights are for sh morons and loyalists. Eat my dick. That's why Korn doesn't like you. Not at all. Not even with your violent nature. Korn may be freaking violent, but he's not a backstabbing, conniving prick. That's Zinch. In all honesty. No wonder not no Chaos Gods support these assholes. Or they don't support any one of them. Because they're basically the shitheads of the entire freaking 18 legions. I would... In all honesty, I may dislike the World Eaters, but I dislike Night Lords more. If I have to make a freaking pyramid on who I hate the most to the least, the bot... The top should... From top to bottom, the top one that I hate the least is freaking world eaters at the very least next down the pile is freaking who's who i hate most who from who i hate the most i hate uh the, i i hate uh death guard or the death guard basically nocturne's legion less and then it's a dead freaking stalemate between Night Lords and freaking Emperor's Children for me. Hey. Chase after him. I better do something before this gets out of hand. Yeah, Bridge, I need you to seal off section 7 through 23 on deck 12. Yes, again. Now shut up. AND DO YOUR JOB! <sighs> Chaos Marines suck. Yup. That's why you should pick Loyalists. At the very least, Loyalists are reasonable to a degree. If you're talking up to Corvus Corax, Robot, Robot, Robot Girly Man, um, Vulcan, except if you're a Xenos, he hates those mostly. <laughs> Um, who else? Sanguinius is reasonable, especially if he's not on his bloodthirst, uh, whatchamacallit, red thirst period. <laughs> you can equate it to that, getting angry over blood. That's basically... <laughs> I never imagined that! Ah! No! <laughs> okay, I cleared that out of my mind. Um, Ferris Manus, and uh, he's a dickhead when it comes to machinery and stuff. Who else is more reasonable than them? I'm not gonna count on freaking... Arugal Dorn. Uh, he's stubborn as a freaking wall. Who else among the loyalists? I, Jag Jagadai Khan barely made any appearance or make anything notable for me to remember if he's reasonable or not. Lehman Russ? 
Well, he's as reasonable if you're not a thousand sons or Magnus the Red. But I digress. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. More like this will be on its way to the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Really want to stream left to you. Share this video with your friends and those who like these kinds of stuff. All right. I hope to see you guys on the next one. Be there or be freaking square. Boop.